Hey everyone, my name's Silver. Welcome back to the channel. And today, guys, I have a video for you. I think I have decoded Blaster Dark's new skill. Or you could call it a theory. But with that being stated, um, I'm using um, cards that have already been released in like Dragonic Overlord and Blaster Blade to make assumptions and predict the skills. And that's why you guys are here to watch this, is because you're curious about Blaster Dark's skill. And guys, very soon, within the next couple days, I have a video scheduled on how to play Vanguard V. If you guys are curious or interested in how to play, keep an eye out for that video, and you will see it. So, we're going to go over the original Blaster Blade and the new Blaster Blade skills. And we're going to use those to go over the old Blaster Dark skill and how we could modify it to be the new Blaster Dark in the V series that we'll see. So starting off, Blaster Blade is Blaster Blade. He has had many incarnates uh, with his character. And like we have a lot of incarnates of Blaster Dark, but its original skill was Counter Blast 2. When this unit is placed on Van, you may play the cost. If you do, choose an opponent's rear guard, retire it. Pretty good one. Auto skill, Counter Blast 2. When this is placed on rear, if you have a Royal Pout in Van, you may pay the cost. If you do, choose one of your opponent's grade 2 or greater rear guards and retire it. So with those two skills being stated and said, we got this in the V-Series. Continuous Van, if you have four more rear guards, this unit gets plus one crit. Van Rear, auto, when this is play, when this is placed cost, Counter Blast, Soul Blast 1, choose one of your opponent's rear guards on the front row and retire it. So, the skills were modified and much condensed into one singular skill for the front row, whereas this card was two separate skills on two separate circles and was very i guess as you would say um situational but no one's ever used them as of late for their skills so let's just assume here for a second that um blaster dark s skills will change because they probably will so i don't think he's gonna have the ride chain he used to i really actually hope they bring that back but just in case he doesn't um he has if you had a Blaster Javelin in Soul, this unit gets 1k on Vanguard. Continuous, when this is placed on Van, you may pay the cost. If you do, choose one of your opponent's rear guards and retire. It was a really good card, and there's a reason this deck was in the meta for such a long time. And as time went on, he evolved. He had Blaster Revenger, Counter Blast 2, when this is placed on Van or Rear. And you have a Revenger Vanguard, you may pay the cost. If you do, choose one of your opponent's rear guards, retire it. Again, Counter Blast 1, when this is placed on rear, if you have a Vanguard with a Revenger, choose one, if you do, choose a Grade 1 or less and retire it. Blaster Spirit. Counter Blast 1, when this is placed, so on and so forth. You see his evolution of retiring. So, by taking all these cards' skills, I think I know what his skill will be. His primary auto Van or Rear Guard skill costs Counter Blast 1, Soul Blast 1, Choose an opponent's rear guard, retire it. It's not it's not limiting it to the front row, because that's what Blaster Dark isn't about. He's about targeting stuff. But that leaves question. I don't think he's gonna get a 1k skill, nor do I think he's gonna get a uh at least he's not gonna get an easy um critical. Being Blaster being that Shadow Paladin's unique skills are retiring themselves, I will assume and think that Blaster Dark's new skill will be retire a rear guard or continuous during the battle phase, Vanguard, choose any number of rear guards, retire them, and get a critical for it, or retire two two rear guards, get a critical. It could also be something as simple as when this unit attacks and drive ch uh, drives check and non-trigger, search your deck for a grade three, add it to hand. Cause it could use a search skill. I honestly think it's going to stick to its original retire skill and choose any slot, but across van or rear. And I think as a strict vanguard skill, it is going to get a retire X amount of units for X amount of criticals. Um, it probably won't, won't be retire four units to get a critical. It'll probably be something similar to counter uh, retire two rear guards and this unit gets a critical during your turn. And that will probably be like an act, a, uh, or whenever a rearguard's retired, get a critical. I do think that this will be a similar copy to Blaster Blade, 
being that the Blaster Dark was the original wielder of Blaster Blade, or one of the original wielders, because Blaster Blade's the sword, not the person that wields it. This person was a wielder of Blaster Blade, and became a wheel became the wielder of Blaster Dark. So my theory is, is that he will have a retire base still, or a skill when a unit is retired, he gets a critical. It would be really cool if something like so, instead of, um, he has three skills instead of two. Continuous, whenever two or more rearguards are retired, he gets a, you may have this unit get a critical, or this unit gets a critical. And then as a nice additional skill of, like, either a counter blast one or a soul blast of one, you may choose a unit and retire it. Or it could be as simple as counter blast or soul blast one, and retire a unit on your side of the field to retire an opponent's rear guard, which would both power up his skills and weaken the formation, which is what blasters are about in general, and that would make Blaster Dark more OP. Now, I do have another slight idea or something I want to completely tan a, a quick tangent on. A lot of people are asking, are we going to see a lot of reprints like Majesty or the X and stuff. I think we might see Phantom and the X. We might see Majesty, but where is Leg where Legion units are being added in early? I feel like they're Bushiro's merging season one and season two into one entity. So we'll get most of season one. Season one will end and roll right into season two, not stopping. And then we might get something different for season three. Don't know yet. I think that that might be their play right now. But yeah, so overall, I think Blaster Dark will have this unique skill. Unfortunately, I don't see us seeing it for quite a long time because it's not slated to be out for another five months, I think. Let's see. We have the June box, then we have July, August. September, I think, is the first we'll see of it, so that's four months away. Five, Yeah, five months away because it's not even May yet. But with that being said, I do think Blaster Dark new skill will be something along those lines where he retires his own stuff to get a critical and that will make it more powerful because it doesn't seem to be stopping maybe he'll get a critical and a k power but i really can't state on that what his actual skills will be i can just assume he'll be really powerful and that's about it all right guys so if you guys have any theories of yourself please let me know down in the comments below a lot of people will assume that blaster dark is just going to be a direct copy of blaster blade but we'll have to wait and see. Until next time, ladies and gents, I've been the Silver Wolf, and I will see you all later. Peace.